if you're running a modded version of Skyrim Special Edition on PC, the next update for that game could well break a number of your mods. And what's worse is it may take quite some time for those mods to get fixed, if they ever do. So I'm going to need you to panic right now. I need you to overreact in the worst possible way you can imagine. Because the death of modding is here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Modpocalypse 2021 has begun. Okay, I'm kidding. Please don't panic and please don't overreact. It's not going to be helpful. And at this point, it's not even very original. However, you should take what I'm saying seriously. If you're playing a modded version of Skyrim Special Edition, you're probably running SKSE. And this update is going to break SKSE. And worse, it's going to break many of the mods that use it in ways that could take quite some time to fix. Now, there's actually a post over on Reddit from the SKSE team, or at least one of the developers, that will go into the details, and I'll leave a link down below if you want to read it yourself. I will be going through this a little later in the video, but for now, I'm just going to skip all the way down to the too long, didn't read part. Scary things incoming if you use SKSE plugins. Change Skyrim SE's update settings in Steam to only update when launched. Never launch Skyrim SE via Steam only via your mod manager or SKSE64 loader. He also gives a suggestion to back up certain files. I highly recommend you do that. So you need to disable the update and it's a good idea to also back up certain files. I will go into a few more details um, later on in this video. However, that is the short version. That's how you can prevent this from being a problem. And if that's all you needed, Hopefully, hopefully you've uh, you've got the information you need. You can check it out yourself, and you know how to do what I just said. So I'm going to assume that everyone else who's hanging around wants to hear the details, or they overreacted when I said don't, and they destroyed their mouse and keyboard, and are now realizing they're unable to stop the video. So, well done. So let's go through this post. An important PSA regarding Skyrim Anniversary Edition, SKSE, and other native code mods. The upcoming Anniversary Edition of Skyrim is going to be much more disruptive to the modding scene than is commonly believed. Back up your executable now and disable updates in Steam. In fact, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You, you need to go along to your Steam library and find where you have Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition installed. If you don't have the game installed right now, and you're thinking of playing this in the next, say, six months to a year, I would actually recommend you install it now and do this. Disable the updates just so that you have the original Special Edition, I say original, the Special Edition ready to go if you need it. Once you've got the game installed, or if you already have it installed, right click, Go to Properties, select Updates, and then make sure you have only update this game when I launch it selected from this drop-down menu, okay? That will prevent it from updating unless you run the game through Steam. Now, you almost certainly don't run the game through Steam. If you've been modding your game a lot, you almost certainly run it from um, either your mod manager of choice or... You, you run it from a shortcut on your desktop that runs the SKSE loader directly. But just remember, don't accidentally hit play here. Yeah, don't do that because it will then update the game. To run the game, you're going to want to run the game through... Where is it? The SKSE64 loader.executable. Most people probably right-click here and send to desktop to create a shortcut on their desktop to run the game the game through SKSE every time. That's what I do up here. I have a little icon that runs SKSE64 directly. 
Now the post recommends backing up your executable as well as disabling the update and that's basically because you might just accidentally run the game through Steam and ruin everything. You will want to have a backup of certain files. The first file you're going to need is the executable file. So you'll need to find where you've got Skyrim Special Edition installed and you're looking for skyrimse.exe. You're also going to need somewhere to back that up too. So I'm just going to back it up to my desktop for now. I'm going to make a new folder called SSE Backups. And then I'm going to open that. And then I'm just going to copy that file across. This is, this is a just in case I will be able to take this back and undo any damage an update does. There are also some other files he recommends uh, backing up just to be on the safe side. And these are files found in data, which is Skyrim ESM, Update ESM, and three of the BSA files. So if you go into data and find Skyrim ESM and Update ESM, along with Skyrim interface.bsa, Skyrim Miscellaneous or MISC BSA and Skyrim Patch BSA. Copy those. Copy those across as well. If you want, you can even put them in a data folder just so that you remember where they're supposed to go. These, this will give you what he calls like 99% safety. But if you want to be absolutely 100% safe, you could just back up the entire Skyrim Special Edition folder. Obviously, that's going to be fairly large if you're running a lot of mods. Um, it's, it's going to be completely up to you. Depends on your hard drive situation. Now, of course, preventing the update will make sure that your mods continue to work. But of course, you don't get the new stuff. Obviously, you don't get the update. You're not getting the new stuff. That's the trade-off you're going to have to make. But you're probably wondering, why do I have to make this trade-off? What's the problem? Now, the post does go into some minor technical details. The short version of it is that Bethesda are now using a newer version of the compiler. And unfortunately, this is breaking SKSE and all of the SKSE plugins. Standard mods should work just fine. They will be fine, but SKSE and any mod that uses an SKSE plugin will have to be rewritten and there will have to be two versions of the mods, one for the pre-anniversary edition version of the game and one for the post-anniversary edition of the game. And this is going to take some time. The post goes on to say, doing this work takes a reasonable amount of time for each plugin. I can probably sit there over a few nights and bang out an updated version of SKSE, but my main concern is for the rest of the plugins out there. The plugin ecosystem has been around long enough that people have moved on, code is left unmaintained. Effectively, everyone who has written a native code plugin will need to do at least some amount of work to support Anniversary Edition. This realistically means that the native code mod scene is going to be broken for an unknown length of time after Anniversary Edition's release. Okay, that's pretty important. Now, some mods might get updated very quickly if a new version of SKSE is released reasonably quickly, but some mods might take, well, a long time. It's going to depend on the, the mod author or someone else taking up the reins for that mod, and it is possible some mods might not get updated. So this could be an issue where you, at some point, have to lose some of the mods you like to use. We just don't know at the moment. The post does go on to give a couple of, shall we say, instructions or pieces of advice that I heartily agree with. The first being, do not harass Bethesda employees about this. Yeah, please don't. I mean, I, I get it. It's slightly irritating to have to disable the updates and maybe make a backup for this. Maybe you wish they'd done it as a separate game so you didn't have to go to this slight trouble and it is only a slight trouble so if you want to grumble about it a bit and go mm, it's a little bit irritating that's fine 
But don't go completely nuts. Don't lose your mind and start posting ridiculous comments. Uh, don't overreact is what I'm saying, yeah? Don't, don't be that person. He also goes on to say, do not harass plugin developers about this. Yeah, definitely don't harass them. These are people who've put a lot of work in for our benefit. And they've also got lives. Some of them may have moved on. Some of them may not even have the tools installed on their computers anymore that are required to do this. It may just not be possible. They may have no interest. And you know what? That's up to them. You don't get to harass them. Again, this isn't even about not overreacting. This is just... You are not entitled to um, every mod author's time, okay? Just do not harass them. So that's it, really. Just prevent the updates, back up some files just in case, and continue playing Special Edition until you are ready to make the leap to Anniversary Edition, hopefully once the mods you require are available for it, and you're looking to do a new playthrough. And unless, of course, there is something in the Anniversary Edition that you are absolutely dying to play, I mean, I, I, I think you could probably wait a while. Yeah, patience. I mean, come on. You've been playing this game for 10 years. 10 years. It's, you know, wait a few months for the anniversary edition. It's not really going to make that big a difference, is it?